This is your choice, your freedom with Ron Green. Experience true Texas opinions from a man who's sick of arguing and ready to offer solutions to real issues across America. Hey, do not touch that dial. This is the Ron Green Show, and you don't want to miss it. And I'll tell you why, because we're going to talk about Health care. Isn't that cool? Ain't that fun? Yeah, I love health care. Yeah, I love health care, too, you know, because I don't even go for that shit. It's not so it. fucking healthy. Don't need it, huh? Hell no, Never I ain't been to the doctor it. in 15 years. <laughs> I'm almost 198. Yeah. All you need is Dr. Pepper, pack of cigarettes, some steak and taters. That's a health care plan. And, <laughs> That's and, a health care plan. And right stay there. the hell away from them damn well, I mean, Legalized if your heart stops working, you don't really need anything else, right? Good. <laughs> what? So if your heart stops working, you don't really need any more health care. Yeah, right? It's all over. Usually we start with you going off a rant. This time you're actually including us. This is well, yeah, I know. I'm going to get around to introducing you guys <laughs> any minute now. Uh, on my left, we have some guy who's walked in off the street. Uh, no, we have... Jade. <laughs> Jay. Jade Walker. Jage, yep. I'm sorry, man. Uh, that, whoever ripped that Just, didn't write it big enough. <laughs> I tell you what. He's a small <laughs> business consultant, a political commentator, and most important for today's show, he's a health care expert. Mm. Mm, expert's a strong word. Well, I promoted you. On this <laughs> show, you, you automatically get a promotion. <laughs> it's just the company you're in. Oh, nice. Very nice. Okay. Actually, he's a... Uh, uh, a pro, you. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's uh, uh, in the health insurance uh, industry. Uh, he helps folks out with health insurance. Uh, th- he is not affiliated with any government agency. You can tell that because he looks like a fairly nice guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, on the other hand, and today we have Aaron Knight, who is not a nice guy at all. And I, you know how I know because he is pro universal health care. Yes. He thinks that. The two of us should be paying for his doctor visits. Oh, uh, we're not buying your little blue pill, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, some that of us don't need the, it. That is not. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> well, the the uh, the. Uh, okay, moving on. Good uh, idea. Anyway, uh, I have a few words to say about this healthcare shit. First of all, uh, there's a big difference in health coverage. And health care. Okay. Okay. What the liberals like to do is conflate the two. They seem to think if you have some type of health coverage, you get health care. But if you're in the private sector, Mm -hmm. if you have health coverage with a deductible of $10,000, you don't get much health care, do you? Not a lot. Not a lot of assistance on visits, not a lot of assistance on prescriptions. And unfortunately, it's still true. You get what you pay for. Right. So there you go. See, we've That's already, it. Solved. We, we've already wrapped Show's up over. the show. All right. And nothing you can say is <laughs> yeah. going to be of any significance. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you all next week. Yeah, let's, no. not, let's not point out like what certain things go towards the deductible. Like The only thing I've had to use my deductible for was a steroid when I got up a respiratory infection. Other than that, everything's been covered this year. What about that little blue pill we were talking about? <laughs> You're coming at the wrong guy with that, yeah. I'm telling you. <laughs> well, we're, we're, let's talk about that that difference that you mean. What What do you think the difference is between health coverage and health care? No. Okay, okay, if you really, okay, I, I'm fixing to lay out a plan for you guys that will solve this whole problem. I right. got something for you, believe it or not. I doubt it. It's a little blue pill. <laughs> it's a little. You got to get off of this, Ron. Literally. <laughs> I mean, that's really not his fault. We really shouldn't blast that. All <laughs> <laughs> it seems like you're projecting maybe from some we'll personal make experience. make fun of a guy in a wheelchair. Come on. <laughs> no, I, I got on that. I got on that little blue pill thing because when they came out with the shit that, that uh, birth control is health care mm-hmm. and that... Th- 
Obamacare mandated that you had that on your insurance. I'm going, are you fucking kidding me? So you don't want birth control on I, healthcare? No, hell no. Birth control ain't healthcare. Even if that's it, procreation. Even if it helps with pain. Care. It helps with pain levels yeah, for I mean, females there, during menstruation. Uh, screw There's on. a lot of other issues that birth <laughs> control goes through. We just lost oh, half man. our audience. We, <laughs> they, they should, if they would get pregnant, <laughs> they wouldn't have that problem. So everyone should get pregnant. Well, not everyone. Well, half of us. Well, the female half, yeah. I'm getting dirty looks from the women in the uh, control room. Uh, ladies, I wasn't actually talking about you. I was talking about you. Every know, other woman the that's not in this room. <laughs> right? Yeah, I, talking, right. yeah, I was talking. Yeah, I was talking about the bad girls, not the good girls. <laughs> the bad girls, the girls that you know. <laughs> oh, now okay. That More is, evil that looks. Is, that is the, a lot the, of evil looks. The, going. Move on, Ron. The, girl, the girls that Move would on, date Ron, me. Those out. are the girls I'm talking about. The <laughs> girls that would date me. Those. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, wait. Now uh, the boss lady's in here looking at you. Okay. Funny. Okay. I'm fixing to get fired. <laughs> Hi, wait, oh, wait a minute. They can't fire me. Where, where, how are we going to spend this first whole segment talking about the blue pill and the ladies' uh, menstruation? I don't know. You don't brought know it up. Here. Hey. It, 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 it came up. I didn't was seeking it out. <laughs> okay, it all right. Back, I should tell. It depends on how many blue pills you have. To, <laughs> to get off of Aaron's sexual inabilities the and back on between and healthcare. Back on, yeah. I see that. That's very rude. <laughs> they can't see this at home. They have to tell them what you're seeing. Okay, one of the ladies split me off. Well, now, there you is go. that lady like? I'm asking. Now, is well, that lady like? Well, I would say lady listeners are cheering right now. She definitely ain't getting no yeah, free birth control. <laughs> <laughs> no free birth control for her. No free anything in Ron's okay, America. That's right. Okay, anyway, the solution to this problem is quite simple. Okay. Okay. A hybrid system is absolutely not going to work. It yeah. absolutely is not going to work. A hybrid system, part free market and part government, is not going to work. That's because true. what's going to happen is the people who actually can afford to buy insurance are going to buy insurance, and then they're going to be taxed to pay for the people who are being subsidized or are on Medicare or Medicaid. They're going to have to raise those taxes eventually, mm. especially if they do away with the uh, mandate. They should raise all the taxes and make it free. You should buy me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. well, I mean, with, that, with these Republican new bill, a lot of those taxes apparently are going to be alleviated as far as penalties right. go. For But that, that's, a, that's a good and bad thing. Yes, it's great that the individual won't have to deal with those penalties anymore. Hey, you can't afford a health insurance? Yeah, but what they're going to do... Great, give me $500. Or... I mean, that doesn't help well, anybody. What they're, well, what the they're, what they're going to do, though, is carve out a huge chunk, like, to what, $250 billion mm. and set it aside in a fund to give to guess who? The insurance companies. Yeah, they need to go away. I agree. Insurance okay, companies need so to go here's, away. Okay, so here's the solution. Okay. We make all hospitals and clinics and all pharmaceuticals nonprofit. Oh, okay. Nonprofit. Okay. They can charge... The accountants of being counters will sit down and figure out what is a reasonable, reasonable uh, uh, administrative cost, which will be tacked on. If it's 10%, it's 10%. How okay. does that elim eliminate the insurance companies? Just wait a minute. I'm All right, there. go. Just, go, Ron. You know, just, uh, go, Ron. Don't – just chill out. I'll stop okay. throwing up stop just signs. Just chill out. Yeah, yeah <laughs> let me finish what I was saying. What was I saying? <laughs> no. Uh, then we do away with the insurance companies. Okay, because there's not going to be any need for insurance companies. Yeah, what no, we're nobody's going to be broken hearted about what that. What we're going to do is go to a single payer system. Okay. But the federal government is not going to run the single pay payer system. Ron Green is going to run it. Absolutely. Think <laughs> how much money I can skim off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am not. I am not going to run it, and uh, I don't oh, skim man. money unless you know there's a good opportunity and I can't get caught. So. Uh, right, so you do. Uh, the uh, If you make it a single-payer system, but you put the single-payer system in the private market, in other words, the state gets, based on, on their population size, gets X amount of dollars, and the state sets out a contract, and the bids are open bids to where the public can see what they are. The guys that come in with, the best bid, take care of that. So the government is not controlling your 
actual health care. They can't go in and tell a doctor, no, you can't do this proce- procedure or that procedure, right? Okay. Okay. And they can't decide whether your kid stays on life support or gets off life support. They cannot make any decisions about your health at all. And they have no access to your health records. Mm. No database that the federal government has access to unless they get a a warrant. Well, how would something like that work if you were going to base it on population size for states, for example, like Florida, you know, there's going to be a lot more geriatric patients that are going to be a lot more different right. types of well, care than right. say somewhere well, like. Well, I mean, that, that I mean, the actual that's what I say. What? what okay, Florida's going to need more money than Montana, right? Right. Right. But the tax, <laughs> but the, there are more people in Florida than there are in Montana too. So those people are going to be paying into the single payer system. In other words, there's no point in giving every state the exact same amount of money because every state doesn't need the exact same amount of money. True. Yeah. I do agree with you. I do believe wholeheartedly that it needs to be privatized. I do. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, unfortunately, you know, when I the, mean, when the I government don't have gets pro- involved and there's too many fingers and too many pies, everything slows down. Well, people are dying. You can't wait for that kind of thing. But a single payer system just terrifies me, man. Well, that's, I, that's I, one I, person I, I, setting see, prices I'm, for I'm a every capitalist. single thing. I'm a capitalist, but there are I don't own any stock in any pharmaceutical companies. I don't e- own any stock in any healthcare programs. And the reason is, is because I don't want to make money off somebody else's greed. Okay, we're getting the uh, the thirty second deal that. When they tell me that, it means I got 30 seconds to, to shut live. the fuck up. Oh, to no, shut the okay, fuck up. Right. Okay? All right? Okay. <laughs> well, you know. I, I, I'm only 62. I'm going to be 63 in September. I got a long way to go, dude. I, I don't know. Told, steak, potatoes, Dr. Pepper, and you. cigarettes. That's right. That's right. I'm actually anyway, for that, Doug. We're going to be back with Jade. I'm sorry. I can't pronounce your name. Say it. Jade. Jade. Is that right? Did I do it right? Jade. Right. And, and Aaron. Aaron. your freedom with Ron Green. Go grab another can of Dr. Pimp. We'll be right back. And we're back, folks. This is your choice, your freedom, with Ron Green. Finding solutions to America's problems. Okay, we are back. And now that we've covered my solution and uh, all that shit, we're supposed to, in the first segment, we were supposed to talk about uh, Obamacare and what it did which was drive premiums up and drive deductibles up. And get and people like me health care where they didn't have it before. Uh, yeah, and... <laughs> also took a, he- a lot of get him his little away blue from a pill. lot of other people, though. And uh, other than that, I can't see that it did a damn thing except make a mess. A huge mess. Well, maybe that's the solution. Just take all the little blue pills away from everyone in Washington. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and be like, all right. Now make a decision. Yeah. No, no change change back if, when you do if something. If we <laughs> take politics out of this, this is an easy fix. It really is. If you take the politicians out of it, and if you stop trying to figure a way through a hybrid system that you can give everyone in America health insurance or some way to pay for health care, then you can actually fix this. Yeah. I mean, if it was to be a tax stipend just to help you get health care, that was the best part. I think, of the ACA program. And if they would have focused on that specific problem and that specific solution, I think it would have gone a lot better for a lot of people. It just got so overclouded. Yeah, I wonder know? what clouded it when Obama and, was trying to push that, it through but, but, a Republican but, Congress and a Republican oh House. I mean, no Republican well, I signed why I under this shit. So Obama, badly. Obama, and the Democrats own every bit of this. They, they don't even a, own any of the branches. They own every bit of this. They own... they. They had a supermajority in the Senate. They had a supermajority in the House, and they had the presidency, and they pushed this shit through without even knowing what was in it. And by telling the American public a bunch of damn lies, you can keep your doctor, you can keep your health care plan if you like it. And they required everyone to buy an insurance policy that has a bunch of shit on it that they will never use. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not ever going to have a pap smear. Okay, <laughs> it's just not going to happen, and you know. And if your fellow uh, Americans need one, screw them. Pretty much. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, Burn it down, Ron. I can't go with you down that road, Ron. <laughs> I, I can't mean, do I it. mean, how, how, how? <laughs> my point is this: I have to pay for my health care, sure. right? Okay. Why do I have to pay for yours too? Because you're an American, you say. And you care I about America an, and Americans. I, do, I care. You say you're ab- for the people. I care about uh, 
people who care about themselves. So if somebody has a health condition they didn't choose? No, I'm not saying you kick them to the curb. We have never done that. That's another misnomer. Right, we just pay higher premiums. Nobody, nobody who goes into a hospital gets refused care. But they do get bills and terrible credit, and they can't buy a home later because of it, or a car, or have a normal life just because they got sick. That's an easy fix, too. All we do is we say... If if they don't have health care, if they can't afford health care, and they have to go to see a doctor, they have a pre-existing condition or whatever, they're set up on a payment plan, and if they never pay it off in their whole entire life, it can't go on their credit. Well, I don't know. I feel like if you're making that payment plan, you know, yeah, sometimes, yeah, maybe it's a little high, but it's not going to negatively impact your credit if you've set it up correctly. If you've got yeah, but most low people enough, don't. And if you don't, if you life. can't afford to make the payments, then what does it do to you? So you now, now I you, understand that. I now do. your quality of life has gone down for something that you couldn't control in, in a lot of cases. So, well, what are we talking about? Are we talking about people that cannot? Well, let's don't forget. Let's don't forget that 150 years ago, you died. Yeah, but we're not 150 years ago. Well, what I'm saying is... We're equipped to handle this now. We are equipped to handle it, and we can handle it, but we can't handle it if we keep reaching into ideology to try to figure out a solution. The solution is not going to be found on the right or the left. The solution is going to be found by approaching it from a, a capitalist point of view. How do I cover the most people for the least amount of cost? It's that simple. Well, that's easy. How do Universal co- health care. No. They do it in countries no, that are hundreds no, and no. thousands Have of years you, older. You're than not them. a bad. They also pay nine dollars a liter in gas because that tax from that gas. Absolutely. But they don't. But they don't have to make the five hundred dollar health care payment for their family every month. Right. But not and only then they're they never pay, refused not, not service. Not only do they no pay nine dollars. Not only do they pay nine dollars a liter for gas, but they also pay sixty percent and more in in government tax right and most of their tax. costs okay. are uh, only their car and their home pretty much everything else can be and, right. and your food okay let me tell you pretty you, much cannot, everything else is you cannot start a business if the government is taking 60 percent of your money to pay for somebody else's needs. no they're paying for yours it's too not, it's for everyone i'm sorry but you know what when when i was born i didn't get a little sticker tattooed on my ass that said i was responsible for the whole human race i'm not responsible for anybody's problems but my own not even now other that, americans now i am a member of of, of humanity and i am do have a heart and i don't want anybody dying in the street but at the same time i do not want the federal government in charge of health care i agree i mean this country was based and founded on capitalism somewhere along the line the view of capitalism became very it was founded on treason and getting away from paying for you know why it wasn't treason we won (laughs) yeah in okay. Hindsight, sure. uh, 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 when you win, it's, it's not. It's you're a revo- All right, this, you're this a isn't that show, Ron. You're a revolutionary. <laughs> if you win, if you lose, you get hung. There's a reason they have to put a, uh, what is it, a 300 percent? Like they they can they can only charge an old person three much three times as much as they co- they charge a young person. Like this is this is geared for the insurance companies. This is I, that's what I the said old in the first pe- segment. So you want to pay under. I don't. I want to get rid. I want the insurance company. I want the insurance companies and the federal government out of the health. And then you want somebody business. like you, who's a private businessman with his own agenda and okay, his own there will be for-profit there, there, I interests want, no, to come in. They're going to be non-profit. How can that happen? Who's interested in that job? I, I, I tell you, who's interested in that job? Somebody who wants to 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 do humanity. Somebody like you. Somebody who actually gives a shit about the human race and thinks it has a future, okay? Uh, somebody who's going to be happy with three hundred and fifty to five hundred thousand dollars a year salary, okay? I think the majority of America would be ecstatic about it. Agreed. Right. I would right. say ninety-eight okay. percent. Okay. Here, 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 <laughs> here, here's the thing: what, what, what most people don't get is an entrepreneur does not have, know how to do everything inside of his business. Mm-mm. He hires people smarter than him to do the things he doesn't know how to do. Sure. And that's exactly what will happen here. Somebody will come along and say, hey, I've been doing this for, Sir, oh, Susan Roebuck's down the tubes now. I've been doing this for Amazon, okay, for one seventy five, $175,000 a year. 
hell, I'll put in a bid. I can, I, I can, I can manage this for five hundred. If they've got the expertise, you've you've got an amount set in there that they can charge for for overhead. They can turn in their bid in their state, and they manage the health care. And not only that, but that gets the the bureaucrats out of the health care business. Hey, I'm these down people, with that. These people can actually be fired for not doing their damn job. I don't think there's any they place for any pro- bureaucrat they, to make any decision. I they, agree can, with that. they can be prosecuted if 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 they're not doing their job okay. and somebody dies. But what you're proposing is that someone's going to come and have a monopoly over health care in that state. A no. private company is going to come have they're, a monopoly because they're the highest bidder. They're not going to have a monopoly over health care. They're going to dole out the money so they're in charge of the money they're gonna do they're the administrative arm that's what government health care would be do you want the government to be that yes because they're elected arm? officials oh and not people who had to bid uh, to get you, a, to get you, into power would you please tell him that there isn't anybody in the federal government capable of running something as massive as national health care <laughs> Not there is no but well there, i mean i know health care is hard because trump the, was like health care is hard yeah well a lot of <laughs> hard i feel like a lot of things are hard for him <laughs> i feel like just making it to the toilet is <laughs> hard for him sometimes hey you know what you can throw all the stones at the guy you want i will okay but here's the thing he's worth billions of dollars yeah he's got one hell of a good looking wife and his daughter ain't bad looking either so what that tells me is the guy knows more than you do, and he knows more than so you do. So you're saying is the value of a person is based on what they make. At least he knows people that know a lot more than I do. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, well, so we we should base how we value somebody on their looks and their money. No, we should give the guy credit for having what it took to get. Yeah, that. he mean, had a really not, rich that's daddy. Not, okay, that's so not let's an go. easy thing to do. We've no, argued this before hey, on different had, episodes. If he had stopped where daddy it's stopped, he would not be a billionaire. He took what daddy loaned him and built on it. Well, okay, let's let's get back to yeah, let's the, get, let's so what you're talking about. Okay, we got <laughs> 10 seconds, so we're not going to do it now. We'll do it right after the break, and these guys can come back and try to beat me up some more. Good luck with that. <laughs> you're listening to Your Choice, Your Freedom with Ron Green. Go grab another can of Dr. Pimple. We'll be right back. Hey, Your Choice, Your Freedom with Ron Green is back. What are we fixing today, Ron? We're going to try and fix Aaron up with another drink so that, you know, he can maybe start making some sense. <laughs> hey, can somebody bring drink, drink, drink an Aaron? Bring, bring drink an Aaron. Yeah, bring I'm already Aaron here. a drink. Oh, Aaron's already here. I had noticed. <laughs> <That's> a- <laughs> but is healthcare a human right? Come on, we're going to talk about blue no. pills again, or are we going to go with the... Uh- well, you're the one that keeps bringing them up. Right. Uh, no, no, we're healthcare is not a human right, guys. I'm sorry, it's just not. That's like saying that uh, that uh, uh, sex is a human right. Y- you're not entitled to sex. You have to earn that. Well, you well, are with I yourself. Mean, here's the problem. This isn't Sparta. Okay, we can't just take the babies that don't look right and throw them off a cliff. Well, so, no, so I'm, how, I'm how are you that. saying that healthcare isn't a human right? I, I'm missing that part because okay because think about nature okay this is the way I evaluate almost everything in life okay we are a animal okay, okay. I believe we have a soul atheists don't believe we have a soul right okay but nevertheless we're still an animal we have basic inherent instincts okay sure, sure. agree okay and in nature in nature forget about the civilization that we have here. In nature, you cannot say that you have you were born with a specific right. You're not born with it. We assign these rights as a collective. Right, because we're able to as use our brains collect- more than most. Right, we, we assign these. But w- when push comes to shove, and this is a problem with ideology, when push comes to shove, everybody wants what they want. And that's why I'm saying we've got to get away from the ideology and we've got to go, Okay, what makes the most sense? And what makes the most sense is to take the money out of health care. But what you're saying is that's what makes around. the most business sense. It's not what makes the most no, human sense necessarily. Well, let's look at, let's look at, is a product. It is a product. You're right. And for the first time in American history, the citizens are told that there's a specific product that they have to buy. That is big. That is that is that's country huge. changing. And I think a lot of people gloss over that. But at the same time, I just can't I, I hear what you're saying. 
that you know we're we're still animals. That's true. However, let's let's look at a guy like Stephen Hawking. Okay, mm -hmm. that guy has done how much to advance not only the way we think about things, the way we analyze things. Right, and 150 years ago, he would have never gotten the chance. Right. I get that. Right. But well, not even what? 150. If he didn't have the health care 50. 50 years ago, he would have been dead long before he would have helped any other human being on the planet advance their thought and, process and I in get any that. way. And I'm saying we have the technology to do that. And I'm also saying that the genie is out of the box and a hybrid system is not going to work. So we have two choices, okay? We can have a single-payer system run by... The likes of him. Yes. Or we Bleeding can have, hearts. Right. Are we, uh, my problem is, is it won't be the honorable people that will be overseeing. It will be the same kind of people that are overseeing the VA system. Yeah. And I'm a vet, and I have a lot of friends that are, my cousin is a vet, and I promise you, you don't want government-run health care. You don't want the government overseeing. You don't it. want you improperly run government health care. There is no government agency run properly. <laughs> Burn it down. There Man. isn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, there isn't. If you really want ha government run health care, it has to be on the state level where the where the citizens can go and look the governor in the eye on any day of the week and throw rocks at him and tell him to get his shit together. You can't even get within close enough to throw a rock at the president of the United States. Uh, in Middle East, somebody threw a shoe at him. So I think you can. Yeah, that was Bush. <laughs> I mean, who throws a and shoe? And that was honestly. at the Middle honestly. East. Honestly. <laughs> somebody in the Middle East. <laughs> in, in America, we throw something much more substantial. Mm -hmm. Actually, what? probably the shoe was the only thing you'd probably get through security. <laughs> they probably have to take their shoes off now. When they yeah, go. they got to check every other grandma's <laughs> piss bag as they're getting on the, uh, the airplane. Well, the, the, I don't know. Okay, so when it comes to affordable health care, let, let's talk about most people focus on insurance and health coverage, right? Because everything is so expensive. <laughs> but what if we had some sort of agency that could go in and wipe out that corruption? You know, you're charging $30 for a pill. A government a agency, Tylenol. you're saying. It, sometimes it has to be. It could be a private consul. I don't know how they'd have enough power to because, enforce is the problem. Because they're the administrative arm. See, well, if, if we do a single-payer health care system in which the government is the single-payer arm, then we've got one bureaucrat after another and no one has to accept responsibility. Then let's change that aspect well, I, of I'm it. I'm talking so, about— So I have. We're let's gonna take assign the bureaucrats a, we're gonna assign out of it. A, We're going to open it up to bidding and let the administrative part of it be run by a private company, and it's all— it's all uh, See, but, but what it, about it's, uh, it, there's no profit in actual health care? Mm. It's the cost. If that Tylenol costs a quarter of a cent, that's what you're billed a quarter of a cent. And that's the way it should be. Exactly. So, so how do we get there? How do we get people to understand that basic economics still dictates? Right. You have a product, but. That product is only worth as much as I'm willing to pay, to pay for, for it, correct? Absolutely. Yep. But when you have somebody that says, no, you have to have this product, you're going to pay whatever I tell you to pay. But if you walk in there with lung cancer, for instance, and they mm -hmm. say this is what you have to pay to live, like... You, you, you and that's what I'm talking about. How do we get those prices to come down to a, a normal level? Because here's the thing. Healthcare industry is big and it's huge, but it's also very and heavily dictated and, and influenced by big pharma. Yeah, Big Pharma is the only yeah. big okay. problem here yeah. as we big speak. Pharma is big the Pharma is without Big Pharma big everybody's getting health care like they did exactly. in England so hundreds think, of years old. A lot of people big are pharma, thinking about the big, wrong hand of the body. Big Pharma is probably 40%. Yeah, 40% uh, of what? 40% of the problem. The oh, other yeah, the absolutely. other the, the other problem is the insurance company and Medicare and Medicaid. Okay, you take under under real capitalism, if they hadn't messed with it, you take the health care system we have now would be based on what the market would bear. When you put Big Pharma in there who can set the prices at whatever they want because they invented the drug, and yeah, it costs a lot of money to invent a drug. 
When you when you do that, what then about? then that price is automatically inflated because it doesn't cost them shit. So if you want to if you want to give them some money for the research and development, it doesn't have to be three hundred dollars. Okay, it doesn't have to be that much. I agree. There was the, a guy. The who- other thing the other thing is the insurance companies. When insurance companies really took off in the eighties, and 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 everybody. Had to have it was even before that it, Nixon started that. And well, you know it. The, actually, the private sector started it. Yeah, and brought it Cor- to him. Cor- corporations, corporations started because instead of giving, they go, okay, well, we can give bigger salaries, but if we offer them free health care for them and their families, we can buy health insurance for practically nothing. So we're giving them a what they're going to see is a huge benefit, and it's not costing us as much. The problem is that inflated the cost of health care for everybody because now the doctors and hospitals and clinics and and big pharma are going deep pockets if only there was a way to cut profits of big pharma like some sort of homeopathic remedy that helped people sleep or or (laughs) helped people that couldn't eat regularly or or help people with minor pain. You mean like marijuana? Oh, yeah, that would be good. Oh, right? yeah, that'd be a good okay. one. I'm just yeah. saying, increased competition prices. I think everyone at this table is all for that. Okay, well, I'm here to tell you that that. Pot isn't going to fix this whole entire problem. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe if bureaucrats okay, and politicians, no, maybe, maybe, gonna fix maybe it. if we but got when all the Democrats buying the and all the Republicans, because they stone. can go down to their street corner and get more relief for less money on a more regular basis with a hell of a lot less side effects, <laughs> that big pharma is going to feel that hit. And when you start taking money out of people's pockets, guess what? They start paying attention Making to what you really it, want. Make it nonprofit. I'm telling you, make it nonprofit. Figure out what you've got to put in there for, for well, I, the administrative cost. I could agree with charge you. Charge that. If and I then, saw the layout of like what each thing would cost, like what's it going to cost to get surgery? Like yeah, that sounds great. A quarter of a cent for well, Tylenol. What do, you, what do you care? But what happens when you got to have you're surgery? Paying, you're paying six hundred dollars a year in 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 a Medicare Medicaid type tax. What do you care what it costs? You're not going to pay it. What? what? You're not <laughs> going to pay it. I'm not going to pay it. No, you're going to go in and get your care. You're talking about a single-payer system. Oh, right on. Okay. Okay, it's a single-payer system, but it's not run by the federal government. And it's and and not only that, but you're taking the profit out of health care. You're not going to pay a profit for laying in that bed. You're not going to pay $10,000 a day to lay in a hospital bed. For $3,500 I can get a better to deal an ambulance. If, I can get a better deal at the Hilton than have somebody drag in an IV. <laughs> It's true, though. You know, <laughs> so you're not going to pay that anymore. The, the The amount of tax they have to collect from us is going to go way down because no longer can pharmaceutical companies charge more than what it actually costs them to make it. Now, then they're going to go, oh, but we need research and development. Well, guess what? Americans are tired of paying for all the research and development. So these other countries that are paying way less than we are can start chipping in. Or here's another great idea before corporations got into the medicating business we used to get actual cures now all we get is treatment Treatment. we got penicillin for free okay that is you're trying to get back to that little blue pill aren't you (laughs) no what i'm trying to say oh that's a little yellow it sounded to me like you just made an argument that everybody should be able to have health care and that would I mean that health care is I, a human right no i'm saying it's not oh, a human right oh. but we are a civilized society okay and and but that's the that, difference between us and animals because you were making that comparison absolutely, earlier but it's not a right you tell me you got a right and i'm going to tell you suck my dick you ain't got well, a right to nothing. i will tell you no you ain't got it <laughs> <laughs> i don't know you I, mean, believe, I believe for human to advance in general if, if we stick to that whole darwin theory that we're all screwed the biggest and the strongest are going to be dumb but full in the belly and trump then, and, and then they'll die mm. and that'll be it oh please how do you if think you don't take got care here? of how do people you have different strengths so if you judge here. somebody how only on physicality not just physicality brains beats brawn almost every time Almost. Sometimes. I mean, Almost I can't fight a guy. Nowadays. Okay, tall, okay shut up. we got to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling You're you guys. You're listening to your choice, will... your freedom with Ron Green. Go grab another can of Dr. Pimple. We'll be right back. And we're back, folks. This is your choice, your freedom with Ron Green. Hey. Finding solutions to America's problems. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. I hope you're having as much fun as we are solving the health care crisis. 
The three of us have solved the problem. Go to your congressman, go to your senator, and tell them to do what Ron said. Which is universal health care? No. Which oh, single payer. That's single right. payer. Right. Um, and right. So two out of the three of us. Okay, <laughs> what we're going to do, guys, okay, what's that? Hey, somebody in the control room, tell me what segment we're in. We're having so much fun, I've lost track. It's four. We're in segment four. Okay, we got about 10 minutes. We got about 10 minutes to wrap you this said up. It. So, okay, no more booze for you, Jack. <laughs> Okay, this is that that was last call. You should have had him give you a double. <laughs> should have. So anyway, here's where we're at. We have decided that I'm brilliant and that this is what the way we're going to go. No, seriously, if anybody here has a better idea that would satisfy both the two percent and the ninety eight. Or the, the one and the ninety nine. The two and the ninety eight. Why do we have to negotiate with the two and the one at all? Because unfortunately, the two and the one are the ones signing the checks. Right, right now. and we're the majority. So right. I don't okay. understand. Yeah, I don't care how big a majority you are. The guy with the money wins. Sure. You but, know why? Because you don't eat if he don't spend his money. Okay. He's going to go. But that is any said, billionaire okay. on the planet, any multimillionaire on the planet, anybody with more than what? Two million dollars is more important than people who don't have two million dollars. No, no, but they can tell you that you have more control over more things. Oh though. yeah, but why? They That's can what tell. We're but about. I'm fixing to tell you. If okay. you shut the fuck up. <laughs> I will. Okay. Some, sometimes the reason they have more control than anybody else is because they pay the bills. They don't eat if they don't spend that money. If they don't put that money to work in the economy, you don't eat. Which there suits are no your crops capitalist grown. agenda, there but not no, people the, who. There are no crops grown. There's no gasoline at the gas pump. There's no cell phone. How are you going to get along without a fucking cell phone? Okay? I'm just saying there's no GPS. How are you going to find your way home? Right? A map. I'm, I, a map? You don't even know what a map Nobody is. Nobody ever knew where they were going before phones. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Nobody no, ever knew. What I'm saying is, is that without those guys, the guys you keep throwing rocks at, all of this shit goes away. I'm not throwing rocks. They ask for the rocks and I deliver. Well... That is a great overall theory on how to fix things. But there are things that people can do as an individual in America to make health care more affordable for themselves and their family. Like, <laughs> I want somebody to look at all the benefits an LLC gets you. If you're a guy and you can buy some string and some beads, God dang it, put those beads on that string and sell them to somebody. If you've got three or $400 for an LLC. True. I mean, nobody says it's going to happen overnight. Which goes to the government. You can do it yourself. Just do a little reading. It's mm -hmm. not that difficult. It's true. My company but operates under the health benefits DBA. for an LLC are astronomical. Because once you have an LLC, you can do something that's called a leaseback program with a third-party HR. We've talked about that before. Mm -hmm. Find groups. Costco-style health insurance. Do it. Start your own business. Get other businesses that a you movie know, about go this. to a third-party HR, and all of those costs, we're talking 30% of that individual. So you're market. saying we go to Costco and hire Right, they got it in the back. Medical and there's like this little gate right behind the <laughs> Rod's not going to know what we're talking about. You know? <laughs> I know exactly what. Oh, listen, okay, <laughs> I, I totally get that, and that's, and that's great. But the problem is right now, most of the people who benefited from Obamacare are on uh, – uh, Medicaid. I would argue that I benefited uh, most from Obamacare and I'm not on Medicaid. On Medicaid. And, and uh, I said the majority of the people who benefited, the majority, not the one guy that all he needs is a blue pill. I was the only guy with a pre existing condition. I remember about four years ago, Obamacare. I applied for some Obamacare and uh, okay. was told I was too poor. What? No. Yeah, that's, no, that's exactly no. what happened. Right. And I went if to the you, healthcare.gov site. Right. And it if said, you, you do not make enough money for the government to provide you health insurance. I, I right. got to call so BS. Got, like, there's got to be something misunderstood. You've got to go on Medicare. When I first. You've got to go on Medicare. Well, that's or fine. Or not but get like, insurance at all. And, and then when Medicare or Medicaid and or most, CHIPS or and whatever most denies of, you, and most then of the, the people, government's required to Most of the people were just like him. They fell below the, the minimum requirement. But you still get And coverage. they had to go on Medicare. Hold on. You're, you're misleading. You're leaving out information. Because you have to go. It's like. Trying one system, getting kicked out. Go back to the other system, get kicked out of there. And then, if this Pearson says no, you can go back. This to is just a battle of who's going to pay Obama for it. Economy. The reason they want right. to see if you uh, 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 can get Medicaid is so that the federal government knows who's paying for it. And then when you 
If you can't, then it gets kicked back, and, and, and then you can get insurance. Everybody can get insurance. That's the whole point of the ACA is that everybody can get insurance. I'm asthmatic. I could never get insurance before unless I wanted to pay a, a, you know, a 20% or 200% premium. Like, this is not, it's not fair. Just because if you're true American, you care about all Americans, I don't understand I'm how sorry, you could think I that a healthy like person you. is 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 more valuable I, I, than a sick person. I said person. I have a heart and I want a solution, but the solution that Obamacare and the solution that the 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 Bernie Sanders of the group and the solution that even the Republicans are trying to come up with, none of this shit's going to work. I don't you're, like any of it either. You're you're not you're not doing the most good for the largest number of people. You're not getting the best bang for your buck. The people who are paying, and I don't want you to, you know, have an asthma attack and have to rush you to the emergency room. You might puke in my truck or something. Okay? <laughs> that's the so, worst that could happen from an asthma attack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, puke in your truck. Just, just a little no, up, up no, all, ki- all kidding aside, I don't want anybody in this day and age with all the technology available to suffer needlessly. Okay. At the same time, I absolutely do not want the federal government in charge of the whole country's health care system. I guarantee you it'll be just like with that kid in England. There'll be you'll have to go to court to get permission to 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 try an experimental drug in another country performed by a doctor that's to get approval, and by the time it gets through the bureaucrats and the federal court, that kid will be so far gone, nothing will help him. If you have a terminal disease and you want a search for a needle in a haystack, you have the right to do that, and the, no government agency should, or no court should be able to tell you otherwise. And definitely not about your kids. If I get a terminal disease, I'm going to go big deal, and I'm going to go out and party hardy. But if it's my kid, that's a different thing. I'm going to do everything in my power, legal or otherwise, to see if I can help that kid. And you're right. With a, with a private company of some sort handling that payer system, there is more chance for accountability. Unfortunately, when the government runs it, who's double-checking the government? Well, they're elected. So a CEO right. can't get I mean, ousted well, unless he yeah, has well, the board of directors. Well, exactly. We're the board in of a, directors. Hold on. In a pure world, Aaron, I agree with you every freaking Which is what I'm after. But we don't live in that world right I now. Yet. What was that broad's name at the IRS? The one that went after the, the broad at the IRS. Yeah, the one that went after the all the conservatives. What was that? What was that bimbo's name? The the broad bimbo. Yeah, you know who I'm at the about? IRS. At the IRS, the, the, <laughs> I feel like the IRS is full of those. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and gender you know, is the, completely the one, irrelevant. The for one that, that got that caught that and got off scot free for specifically targeting targeting uh, uh, conservative fundraising groups. Uh, that sounds like something on, 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 uh, what's on, her a, name? on what's her name? redstate.com. Uh, what is her name? There was a big deal about it. She got off scot-free. That's your bureaucrat looking after it. That's what I'm talking about. This is I'm what, not pro-bureaucrat. I'm pro-elected official. Uh, the elected officials are idiots. Yeah. I'm telling you. That's that, only because is, Republicans keep electing up, them. This is way above their pay grade. They're not even going to try. At, at this They're point, I honestly some, believe that there's a difference between a Democrat and a Republican. It's small. At that, at that level. I it's mean. small. I, I, that's why I say I'm liberal and vote Democratic. I'm, I'm not a Democrat. I, I vote Democratic because I, I like the little guy. And I offered to help and you with people counseling. people that are, have, I might have even slightly brown skin. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Uh, Already there. Where yeah. were you when I needed insurance? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. that's not insured. I pay out of uh, pocket for that shit. That, this is way above the politician pay grade. They're going to pass some kind of a law, or they're going to let Obamacare So fail. richer guys should, should make and, the decisions. And I'm telling you, the rich guys won't be interested. It's nonprofit. You're going to get smart, good people that are working for rich guys. Now they're going to go, hey, I can get a big bump in salary, and I'm going to get a steady paycheck. And they're going to put in a bid, and they're going to set it up. They're going to have some skills as far as setting up an office and a network. And they're going to put in a bid, just like they put in a bid to build a friggin' but highway. But don't you think Big Pharma would just ma- Big Pharma would just make all those bids and win them all? What's That's to stop them from if it's privatized? They could do it. Well, if it's privatized, there'd be a lot more competition. 
The thing is, and the big state, pharma came in with yeah, a whole but bunch when of there's competition, bids. the people with the most money win. That's what do not you true. care? What do you care if the, if the amount they can make is set in stone? It doesn't matter if it's big pharma. Yes, it does. Because people, we're taking away their profit on the drugs. What do you care if they make 10 or 15 percent off the actual health care? You, you were saying that there should be no for profit drugs. There, you've got to have administrative cross figured into that. There should right. be no profit Right, kind of like they There's, do where they have universal health care in other parts of the world, in countries that are way God. older that than ours that have figured it out long is, that before that we is, did. That is universal health care. That is not a single-payer system. And and we're not going to get there. We're not going to get there because... We're not going to get to either. My plan, not my anytime plan, soon. My plan is not going to get enough, enough attention. Uh, the reasonable, the actual doable, that makes sense approaches are not going to get heard because they're not ideologically correct. But you and, think and ideology runs the government? Come on, money runs know, the government. That's not the, ideology. That's my point. Money does run the government. Money. So, ideology so what if we had runs some the sort government. of policing entity that could go in and dictate prices on things? No, you can't charge somebody $10,000. When you can't charge the somebody ten thousand dollars for that, a, a bed now, in a hospital, suddenly health care costs are already down. Suddenly insurance make is it, already I'm affordable. I'm telling you, don't ha- you don't need them. You don't need them if you make it nonprofit. If everything connected with medical care True. is nonprofit, well, you don't. Need I think them. we all three you agree. Cheaper a, prices for everyone is yeah, the ideal insurance goal. Insurance is not going to lower the cost of health care. Hey, people. Do what I ask you to do. Nonprofit health care is the only way to go. Come back and see us and next that's week. That's a wrap. Thanks, Thanks for tuning in. And your choice, your freedom. With Ron Green. We'd love to hear from you. Join the movement and voice your concerns. Your choice, your freedom.com. <laughs>